This video showcases the disassembly and preparation process of industrial cylinders using CID's SDE 2500 cylinder service bench system. In this step, the cylinder is carefully positioned onto the machine body. On the SDE 2500 model, this process is safely completed using a lifting apparatus. In the next step, a dedicated stand is set up to secure the cylinder on a stable base. The cylinder is then gently placed onto the stand and its alignment is checked. The cylinder is mounted onto a stabilizing bracket to eliminate any risk of slipping or rotation during the operation. This step is critical for ensuring safety. Before using the nut buster, the nut is first pre-loosened using a hydraulic cylinder. This cylinder applies high pressure linear force to initiate the rotation of the nut. It ensures that the nut buster engages under safer and more controlled conditions. The required torque values for each operation are clearly listed on the torque specification chart located on the machine itself. Always refer to this chart before starting to make sure the applied force meets safety and performance standards. The cylinder is connected to a specially designed nut buster device. This equipment is used to safely loosen nuts that require high torque. All connections are carefully tightened to prepare for the disassembly process. After all hydraulic and mechanical connections are thoroughly checked, the nut buster device is activated. This ensures that the nut removal process begins safely. The operation is controlled via a remote control panel. The operator uses this panel to move the device forward and backward as needed. Once disassembly is complete, the remaining oil inside the cylinder is drained carefully. The fluid is directed into a designated collection tank to avoid any environmental damage. After all necessary tests and maintenance procedures are completed, the cylinder is prepared for reassembly. The entire process is monitored from start to finish.